With over 6,500 members, the Sexual Violence Research Initiative is the world's largest network on research on violence against women and violence against children. This network provides a space where global role players in the field connect with one another, share and promote their research and practice-based knowledge, work to influence policies in practice and improve the lives of those who experience gendered violence. Para crear cambios, debemos saber qué funciona y qué no. Y debemos poner este conocimiento en acción. Nuestro programa ha financiado a 60 proyectos en 36 países de ingresos bajos y medios por una suma mayor a los 6 millones de dólares. I'm Professor Seydou Doumbia, of the Dean of, of the Faculty of Medicine and Odontostomatology of the University of Science, Technique and Technology, Bamako, Mali. My name is Cathy Ward and I'm based at the University of Cape Town in Cape Town, South Africa. We're going to be working in partnership with Catholic Relief Services and Plan International in Zimbabwe. Namaste. My name is Anil Rahubangsi. I'm based in Kathmandu, Nepal. My name is Adeste Dulawan. I am the clinical supervisor of World Hope International. I am based here in the Philippines. My name is Bogdan Krasic, and I work at Save the Children International. We are based in Belgrade, Serbia. My name is Zeynep Ponar Arda. I work for Mosaic Mina, and I'm based in Istanbul, Turkey. Uh, my name is Zed Alhamdan. My organization is Georgia University of Science and Technology. I am based in Georgia. Meu nome é José Raimundo Carvalho. Eu trabalho na Universidade Federal do Ceará. Eu moro e trabalho na cidade de Fortaleza, Ceará, Brasil. Our research project is entitled Online Sexual Exploitation of Children Amidst COVID-19 in the Philippines. Our research aims to shed more light on online sexual exploitation of children, or OSEC, in the Philippines. OSEC is an emerging form of child trafficking, the global epicenter of which is the Philippines. It is important to embark on this study to uncover how the pandemic is driving the rapid increase in prevalence and how it is impacting the well-being of survivors and their families. Our project is called Violence Against Children on the Balkans Migration Route, Solutions Through Advocacy and Research. So far, research of violence and migration focused mostly on border violence and our study will strive to provide a comprehensive overview of all types of violence that children face while on the move, starting with the violence they experience in their home countries. Our study is entitled, Can a Parenting Program Prevent Intimate Partner Violence? So the study will actually take place in Zimbabwe. We're going to be adapting a parenting program by adding in a co-parenting intervention and some conflict management to see if that can both reduce violence against children and reduce intimate partner violence. This study is important because we know that, that violence against women and violence against children occur at very high rates and they tend to co-occur in the family of the woman and the child. This research aims to understand the context, practices, and emerging trends of online intimate partner violence against teens and young people in Nepal. We will study risk factors of online intimate partner violence, its interconnectivity with offline violence, and how teens and young people can be protected. In Mali, one third of adult women uh, reports a lifetime experience of intimate partner violence. Also, the PI of uh, the projects on the integration of uh, gender-based violence into a prenatal care, we want to develop a curriculum uh, which will prevent female genital cutting and also present an opportunity uh, for reflecting on cultural norm, receiving mutual support, and for building skill. 
O projeto vai tentar mensurar o impacto da epidemia de Covid-19 na violência doméstica e familiar contra mulheres e crianças no Brasil. Porque pela primeira vez desde o início da epidemia de Covid-19 no Brasil, um grupo de pesquisadores vai tentar mensurar o impacto dessa epidemia na violência contra mulheres e crianças no Brasil. Esse projeto, esse estágio, é Breaking the Silence, Embarrando Jordânia em Fertile Cabelos to Decrease Gender Based Tyrants. Esse projeto é para address underlying psychosocial factors for cabelos undergoing treatment for infertility as a means of a primary violence prevention. The title of our project is examining the vulnerabilities of women and girls of diverse SOGS to violence against uh, women and girls in Turkey and Lebanon. Uh, the research is trying to answer two main questions. What are the risks and uh, vulnerabilities of uh, women and girls of diverse SOGS to violence against women and girls in Turkey and Lebanon? And what kind of support services are available The outcomes of this research in Divor will guide the provision of quality therapeutic care to facilitate the healing and recovery of the survivors. It will likewise inform the development of future programs and policies to prevent online sexual exploitation of children. We hope that our research will lead to better understanding and visibility of the child rights violations against migrant refugee children, and that it will empower both children and key actors to speak up. There's a strong theoretical link between violence exposure uh, in the family, the violence exposure of the child, and later intimate partner violence on behalf of the child when they grow up. And so we are very much hoping that we can reduce not only the current violence in the family, but, the, but, but lower the risk that those children will grow up to commit intimate partner violence. We aim to provide policy recommendations to the government and other duty bearers. We will also use an artificial intelligence tool for detection and prevention of online intimate partner violence. Our use of transformative uh, approach to deliver antenatal and postnatal care through evidence-based group model present an opportunity. We'll be meeting women where uh, they are and hopefully creating a sustainable approach. We have the conviction that we will be de desenvolver um plano de retomada pós-epidemia que seja inclusivo de gênero e que considere as especificidades tanto de mulheres quanto de crianças. The project will improve the quality of infertile cabins by increasing the quality of life by preventing violence. The study will improve the lives of women and children by creating awareness among state, civil society and humanitarian service providers and policymakers both in Turkey and Lebanon. Estas investigaciones revolucionarias han apoyado el desarrollo de iniciativas para responder a las necesidades de sobrevivientes y comunidades en el sur global. Este es el poder de la investigación feminista.